Number 42. What is the speed of a garbage truck that is 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms and is initially moving at 25 meters per second just after it hits and adheres to a trash can that is 80 kilograms and is initially at rest? All right, so here's our garbage truck traveling to the right, has this mass, this initial velocity. Here's our garbage can, has a mass of 80 kilograms and it's initially stationary. What we need to now know is what the final velocity of the garbage truck is, but remember, uh, after the garbage truck makes contact with this trash can, the trash can will adhere to the garbage truck and therefore they will be one solid system. Now, if you're thinking about this as a collision problem, you're definitely headed in the right track. And now you have to think about, well, what type of a collision is this? Elastic or inelastic? Remember, elastic collisions involve two objects coming together and then after the collision, they separate. Whereas inelastic collisions involve two objects coming together and then sticking to one another or adhering. So therefore, this is an inelastic collision problem, right? So we're thinking about conservation of momentum. So conservation of momentum would be uh, the, that the momentum before the collision will equal the momentum after the collision. Note, uh, realizing that the momentum before the collision is a function of two objects because they are moving independently of one another. I know the trash can isn't moving, but it's independent of the garbage truck over here. So what we uh, need to do is break this term up into the two pieces, right? That the momentum of the garbage truck, which I'll call sub one, plus then the momentum of the garbage can, which would be sub two, should equal then the total momentum uh, after they stick together. Remember, this will be a function of the total mass. So now realizing over here that momentum is a function of mass multiplied by velocity, we can further now uh, break these you know, momentums up into mass and velocity. So now the momentum of the first object, right, of the, of the garbage truck will be equal to the mass of that garbage truck multiplied by the velocity of that garbage truck before the collision, plus then the uh, momentum of the trash can will be equal to the mass of that trash can multiplied by, by, by the uh, velocity of that trash can before the collision. And that'll equal then the total momentum. And remember, the system will be one piece now. They're good. To, those masses will be stuck together, and therefore it'll be equal to the total mass multiplied by their uh, final velocities since they are stuck together. So basically these two items are the same. Okay, so now what are we being asked? It says the speed of the garbage truck right after the collision. Remember that the speed of the garbage truck after the collision would be the same as the speed of the trash can, which is the same as the speed of the whole thing because they're stuck together. Therefore, I'm looking for the final velocity. So simply divide out the total mass from both sides. Okay, and now let's rewrite our equation. So the final equation here would be the mass of the garbage truck multiplied by the velocity of the garbage truck before the collision, plus this term, right? This is for the trash can, but remember the trash can isn't moving, so the velocity here is zero. So what happens to that term? Just goes bye-bye. And now divide that by then the total mass, which is just a the uh, summation of the mass of the garbage truck plus on the mass of the trash can. And that will all equal now our final velocity. So this is our equation. Do we know everything we need to know? Of course we do. Let's just plug it on in. So we know that the final velocity I'm going to leave myself a little more room. So the final velocity here will be equal to the mass of the garbage truck, which was 1.2 times 10 to the 4. So 1.2 times 10 to the 4 kilograms multiplied by the velocity of that garbage truck, which was 25 meters per second, all divided then by the total mass, which is the mass of the garbage truck, uh, added to then the mass of the trash can, which was 80. And now all we need to do is just plug it on into that calculator. So let's take out that calculator. So we got 1.2 times 10 to the fourth times 25 divided by parentheses now, 1.2 times 10 to the fourth plus 80. And we get a value of about 24.8, right? Considering rounding, so 24.8, and that is meters per second. That will be the final velocity of the garbage truck. That's also the final velocity of the trash can, and it's the final velocity of the entire system together because it's in an elastic collision and they stick. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope this video helped, all right? If you've been following me throughout this chapter, the reason why I'm going quickly is because we've done actually harder concepts than this throughout the prior problems, which I'm surprised. It almost seems a little out of order. These should have come first. Uh, but in any case, this stuff should be easy peasy by now. Thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next question. Take care.